Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, affirmed that in light of the global trend towards deepening the integration of technology in various fields of life through artificial intelligence, the ministry is working on the formation of graduates capable of integration in this era of technology, whether as users or as actors and participants. In this context, topics related to programming have been integrated in all educational levels, from primary to secondary schools. The minister explained that the Information and Communication Technology Unit in the Curriculum Department has integrated the topics of programming into the primary schools with the aim of consolidating the foundations of programming for the child through learning to analyze problems, plan to solve them and implement the solution. As for the intermediate stage, the topics of designing dynamic web pages has been included, which includes dealing with different programming languages. And for the secondary stage, the unit is currently working on developing the curriculum for learning programming in Python, which is currently the most popular and widespreading language due to its ability to meet the requirements of all programming fields such as artificial intelligence, data analysis, a website development, building computer networks, and the basics of computer science, such as numerical systems, cybersecurity, and digital citizenship. The Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture Wa'al bin Nasr al-Mubarak launched the afforestation project in the Diyar al-Muharraq in line with the national strategy aimed at doubling the number of trees by 2035. The minister said that there are a number of initiatives to increase afforestation in the kingdom and are motivating all parties to participate in government projects in cooperation with the private sector. He pointed out that afforestation of Diyar al-Muharraq comes as one of the important private sector initiatives in this regard. Al-Mubarak affirmed that the types of trees that will be planted within the various initiatives were identified as they were selected due to their susceptibility to the climate conditions of the Kingdom of Bahrain and their low water consumption. He praised Diyar al-Muharraq's cooperation and interaction with the Ministry in implementing afforestation initiatives. Diyar al-Muharraq Company hosted the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture to launch the Diyar al-Muharraq Afforestation Project in the presence of the Under Secretary of Municipal Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and a number of ministry officials. During the Minister's tour, the afforestation scheme that will be launched in Diyar al-Muharraq was reviewed in addition to the techniques and agricultural tools that will be adopted for digging, agriculture and irrigation networks. The governor of the capital, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, praised the great efforts made by the security and services authorities throughout the Ashura season to facilitate matters related to this occasion. This came on the sidelines of the uh, governor's visit to Bab al Bahrain police station, where he inspected the progress of the morning processions in Manama as part of the efforts of the capital government to follow up the organization of the Ashura season in an atmosphere of security, order, and health in Manama. He was briefed on the progress of the security organizational and service efforts, appreciating the cooperation and coordination between the various relevant authorities, which was positively reflected on the smooth conduct of the Husseini processions in Manama. Bahrain economy has recovered and is moving towards achieving the desired results of the financial and development sustainability that will benefit the citizens and have impact on the nation's overall progress. This was confirmed by the Finance and National Economy Ministry, who highlighted the positive indicators that have been achieved in various targeted sectors in Bahrain. And the Ministry of Tourism indicated that the tourism recovery rate reached 82% compared to the pre-pandemic period, specifically on the second quarter of 2019. It said the number of visitors arrived to Bahrain in the second quarter of 2022 has increased by 38% compared with the first quarter. The ministry said that the hospitality and hotel sector in Bahrain recorded 2,973,000 nights of tourism during the second quarter of this year, compared to 569,000 nights of tourism in the second quarter of 2021, an increase of 422%. Total tourism revenues during the same period amounted to 330.4 million Bahrain dinars, an increase of 562% over the same period last year when revenue figures were 49.9 million Bahrain dinars. Tourism Minister Fatma bin Jafar al-Sayrafi said that the encouraging results reflect the fruitful efforts of promoting the Bahrain tourism sector regionally and internationally through his participation in many external activities. The minister highlighted the importance of restoring the vital role of the sector in supporting the national economy, diversifying its sources and creating job opportunities within the framework of the effective implementation of Bahrain's tourism strategy 2022-2026. She said that the statistics prove that the kingdom is moving in the right path towards the full recovery of the sector post-pandemic. 
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that the Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes a ceasefire that has been reached in the Gaza Strip. The ministry praised in a statement the tireless efforts made by the Arab Republic of Egypt to end the military operations in the Gaza Strip in order to prevent bloodshed, stop the loss of life and property, and preserve the security and stability of the region. The ministry stressed the importance of concerted efforts by the international community to support the sustainability of the ceasefire and prevent any escalation in order to preserve the safety of civilians and intensify efforts to bring about comprehensive and lasting peace in the Middle East.